welcome back for our last week of our help series. And let's get started with our lesson today by worshiping God with a song. Love is kind, it's not jealous anytime. It's not proud and it's not rude. Love forgives and speaks the truth. Oh, yeah, love will never fail. Oh, yeah, love will never fail. Love protects, it does not break. It doesn't easily get mad. Love is hopeful and it trusts. When we love, we never give up. Great song, everybody. Let's play Find That Ball one more time to get focused for our lesson today. See if you can find that ball. Where's the ball? Okay, great. Now that you're focused, I want to start our lesson off today with a little poll. Um, God gives us opportunities to help others every day. So I'm going to ask you a couple of questions and I want you to show me on your fingers on a scale from one to five, how likely you would be willing to help. Everyone at home can do it. So get ready. Uh, one is being the lowest. You're not really wanting to help. And then five being the highest. Okay. So our first one. Your dog needs help picking up the dog poop in the backyard. Gross. Okay, how willing are you to help? Give me a one through five. I feel like this is gonna be an easy one. I'm a one. <laughs> okay, next one. Your grandma asked you to help her unload the groceries from the store. Everybody stick their hands up. One through five. How willing are you to help grandma? Okay, your next one. Your little sister needs help learning how to ride her bike. What do you think? Give me a one through five about one about your willingness to help your sister. Okay, and here's our last one. Your mom asked you to set the table before dinner. Give me a one through five. Everybody stick their hands up. How willing are you to help mom set the table? All right, that's what we're learning about today. God loves it when we help other people and God helps us help others. So let's listen to our lesson video today and see what Carl has to say all about that. Listen, I don't care. You can tell the mayor he just lost 10 votes. <sighs> hey there, everybody. Sorry, I'm just super busy. Welcome to Google. Hosted by Carl, where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now once again, welcome to Cool TV. You see, I got a lot of things going on, and I don't think I have the time to go through a Bible story. I really want to, but one of my friends, they're in trouble. I'm going to do all I can to make it better for my friend, but I'm having a hard time. <sighs> well, tell the governor I need help. I don't know what to do. Oh. TJ. Carl. What's going on, man? How you doing? <laughs> Unfortunately, not a good time right now. Oh, no, man. What's up? Well, it's complicated. 
Maybe I can call you back? Oh, what's going on? M maybe, maybe I can help. Well, like I said, TJ, it's complicated. My buddy is needing help, and well, I'm trying to find it for him. Well, is there anything I can do or help you with, man? I don't think so, TJ. I'm gonna try a couple things, and if that doesn't work, maybe I'll call you and see what we can do. Okay, if you say so, man, I'll, I'll talk to you later, man. Good luck. Thanks, TJ. All right, now let's think of all the ways I can help someone. Listen, I wanna to talk to the president right now. Mr. President, listen up. My buddy needs help. Did he just hang up on me? No. 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 Ah. No. 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 Yes? No. Ah. Give me a sign. Just give me a sign. <sighs> oh, hey, TJ. What's wrong, Carl? Still no answer for your friend? Nope. I'm having no luck whatsoever. I don't know how to give him the help that he needs. Well, I think we should take a break and let's talk about the story for today. I don't think I have time for it. I think you'll be surprised. You remember how God used Moses to lead the Israelites out of Egypt last week? Yeah, Moses listened to God and the Israelites were saved from slavery in Egypt and they were finally free. You're absolutely right, Carl. But after a while, the Israelites were wandering through the desert following Moses and believe it or not, they started complaining. Complain? What do you mean? Well, they were hungry and tired and thirsty, and they started questioning God. What? God saved them from Egypt. Why would they doubt that? I know it's hard to comprehend, but Moses heard all of their complaints and grumblings. Well, TJ, what did he do? Did he go find help? Did he give up? What did he do? Well, let's look in the Bible. All right. Exodus. Wow. Right? Exodus is full of so much stuff. A lot of people who need help too. So you read about the people who were needing water and food, right? And about those who were grumbling and complaining, right? Yeah, they definitely needed help, but the person who helped him was... Moses. Yeah, that's crazy. So Moses saw his people, his friends, needing help? He asked God for help. Yep. But it came down to Moses helping the Israelites. Because Moses loved and listened, he was able to help them. You got it, Carl. Wow, that's awesome. God helps us help others. You know what's also awesome? You just said our big idea. No. Our big idea is God helps us help others. So let's say that loud on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. God, God helps, helps us, us help, help others. others. Yes. Good job, everyone. Yahoo! Wow, that was really good. What was good? I guess it's just good to know that God uses us to help other people. It really is, isn't it? Real quick, who was your friend that needed help anyway? And what was going on? It's my buddy Spot. He was having a hard time deciding between some... Wait, Spot? Carl, you talking about Spot, your dog? Yeah, of course. He's my best friend. Oh, Carl. <laughs> I mean, it's fine that... My dog is my best friend. <sighs> All right, kids. Well, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Pro TV. Okay, great. Carl told us the next part of the story. We've been learning all about Moses this month, and we're picking up the story today after the Israelites were set free, after they had been slaves in Egypt for a very long time. God called Moses to lead them out of Egypt and they were going to the promised land. So now that they were free, they were excited, right? Mm, wrong. <laughs> they quickly forgot how God had helped them escape Egypt and began to complain. What did they complain about? Oh, they said, we have no food and we have no bread and we're hungry and we're thirsty and we should have stayed in Egypt. 
Are you kidding? They had already forgotten. They wanted to go back to Egypt. They were feeling so sorry for themselves. They began to think that it would have been better for them to stay as slaves in Egypt. Moses didn't know what to do to help them. So he prayed to God, even though the Israelites probably shouldn't have been whining and complaining. And that's not the best way to talk to God. God still helped the people. God gave Moses some pro tips to help them. When the Israelites came across bitter water, God showed Moses about a piece of wood that he could throw in the water to make it drinkable. Later on, God told Moses that the people would have real food. They would have a special bread called manna and a bird kind of similar to a chicken called quail, which were going to fall from the sky and they would always have enough to eat. The people got thirsty and whiny again. And this time God had Moses strike a rock and water came out of it. Again and again, God helped Moses, help the Israelites. Moses cared enough about the Israelites to keep asking God for answers. And God was loving enough to help and is still helping today. What's more is God gives us tools we need to go and help others around us. Sometimes it's hard to help people. Um, Moses had a group of people, the Israelites, who God had just rescued from Egypt, and we saw how they responded with lots of whining and complaining. I'm sure it wasn't easy for Moses to help them, but God asked Moses to help them, so he obeyed. God helped Moses help them. And that's our big idea for this week. God helps us help others. So I want you to stop. We're going to have some family discussion. And I want you to think about someone in your life who may not be the easiest person to help. This could be a sibling or a friend you're arguing with or someone at school who isn't very nice. And I want you to pause the video. And I want you to talk about our discussion questions on the next slide about what you can do to help others when sometimes it might be hard. And then come on back. hope you had some great discussion as a family. We want to help others because we want to be more like Jesus. It's always easier to do what we want. It's natural to think about ourselves and forget about others, but just like God really wanted to help the Israelites in the desert. God really wants to help the people we know, and God really wants to help us be the ones who help them. And that is such an awesome promise from God. That takes us to the end of our lesson. And I wanted to end with reviewing our memory verse one more time. I told you I was gonna have a challenge for you this week. So we've been memorizing Psalm 121 verse two. And my challenge to you is to add verse one. The whole verse one and two say, I lift my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. What a perfect end to our lesson for this week and for this whole month. Where does our help come from? Our help comes from the Lord. I hope you guys have a great week um, and enjoy some hopefully fall leaves and hopefully nice weather. And I can't wait to talk to you again next week. Bye.